In this video, we begin doing U substitutions. This is U substitutions part one, and that's basically the reverse chain rule. Now, the key with U substitutions is to realize that we have an inside function in example one, that's 2x plus 1, and we have an outside function, which is 2 something to the fifth power. So let's go ahead and replace that inside function. As our first step, we replace the inside function with u. So we're going to say u is 2x plus 1. Well, so that allows us to replace that part, and we now have u to the fifth power. Here's our problem. In order to integrate, we can't have u's and x's mixed together. So somehow, we need to turn this into a du. Well, to do that, we're going to come back over to u equals 2x plus 1, and we're going to take the derivative of that. The derivative of u with respect to x would be du dx is equal to, and that would be just plain old 2. If we kill the fraction, notice that du is 2 dx. Now, if we go back to the original problem, notice we have a 2 dx. So we're going to replace that 2 dx with our du. Now we can go ahead and do the reverse power rule. u to the 5 plus 1 divided by 5 plus 1 plus c. So that gives us u to the 6th over 6 plus c. But notice it's not really u. It's really 2x plus 1. So our final answer is 2x plus 1 to the 6th power over 6 plus c. Let's do another example. In example 2, our inside function u is 3x plus 1. Our outside function we're thinking of as something to the fourth power. We know that we can't use dx. We have to use du. So let's come over and take the derivative of u with respect to x. du dx is equal to 3. So du is equal to 3 dx. And this time, if we look, we have a dx, but we don't have a 3 anywhere outside. So I'd like to put a 3 in front of the dx. Well, if I'm multiplying by 3, in order to not change the problem, I need to divide by 3, or multiply by 1 third, on the outside. I now have 1 third integral u to the fourth du. Reverse power rule would give me u to the fifth over 5 plus c. And I've got this 1 third out in front that I want to multiply by. So this gives me u to the fifth over 15 plus c. But it's not really u. u is 3x plus 1. So we would replace that and go 3x plus 1 to the fifth power divided by 15 plus c. Let's go again. Inside function is 3x squared plus 1, so u is 3x squared plus 1. Let's take the derivative of that, so du is equal to 6x dx. Notice this time I killed the fraction in my head, so I'm looking for a 6x dx. Well, I have an x dx. If I want to include a 6 on the inside, I need to multiply by 1 6 on the outside. I now have 1 6 integral. 6x dx became my du, and my new function now is u cubed. Using the reverse power rule, I get u to the fourth over 4 plus c times 1 6, which would be, now we know it's not u, we know it's 3x squared plus 1 to the 4th over 24 plus c. Last example, our inside function is 4x squared minus 3. So u is 4x squared minus 3. du would be 12x dx. Notice I have an x dx, so I want to include a 12 on the inside. So I put a 1 12th on the outside. So now I've got 1 12th integral. 
the 12x dx became du. Here we get u to the fifth. So we have u to the six over six plus c times a one twelfth. Now we know it's not u. We know that it's 4x squared minus 3 to the 6th power over 6 times 12 is 72 plus c. Don't forget your plus c. Very important.